Hey guys, just a quick update on one of the games I've been working on. Uh, this is called Castle Adventure. It's actually a recreation of a DOS game that I used to play when I was a kid. And this one, uh, it actually has 22 items in the game. And you have to place them into the courtyard because uh, you can only carry six items in your inventory at a time. So once you have six items, uh, you can't pick up any more, and so then you have to drop items. Now to get scored for the, to get a high score for those items, you have to drop them into the courtyard. Um, so I see I have the glasses, so I can drop the glasses, and I can also drop the. Uh, I don't really need the book. Uh, drop book. All right, so. There's different treasures and different items that you use throughout the game, uh, but again, to get to get a score for those, when you finally win the game, they have to be placed in this courtyard room. So that's what this room is, and I do have the 22 items uh, there right now. They're just in this room because I'm uh, testing with them. So you can see all the different items throughout the game here, and uh, this is the jade figurine um, which of course is uh, right over here jade figurine but uh, the jade figurine now I'm using my VR inventory pack but I've modified it a little bit for this game because uh, I want to only be able to pick up six items which I have hit the limit I can't pick up anything else now so if I look in my inventory I can see that I have six items and that's all I can carry. Um, so any of these you can select and carry them around. Uh, it's it's an adventure game, so it's kind of a puzzle. You use different items to uh, solve different puzzles. And uh, for mobile VR, the way you do that is you just hold them like this, and uh, then it will interact with whatever item you're pointing it at. Now there's different pillars in this room. And that's so that you could place your item onto the pillar. And you can see that it shows the name for that. So um, this allows me to place my items into the courtyard. Just like we used to do here. And traditionally what, I've, what I used to do and what I've seen other players do is um, they would basically line these up along the wall like this. Um, so that's what I've done with the pedestals here and you can place any item in your inventory onto the pedestal it will go ahead and show the uh, 3d model there along with the text of what the item is and one of the cool features is for some items like this the lamp it'll show a different mesh if it's in your hand so this one you can see the handles down but when I pick it up and I put it into my hand the handle goes up and I'll be using IK to move the player's right hand up into position. So, if I get my sword out, again, different items in your inventory you can do different, uh, different things. And another thing is you can drop any items. And that, of course, is the way it works over here. You just type drop. And uh, so in the inventory, you can see I have a drop button. Any item I can select and drop that. Book, for example. And just drop it into the world. And, of course, you can pick them up from there. But that's if you were up in one part of the castle and... Uh, your inventory is full, but you really need to pick up an item like the key. Then you need to stop and take something out of your inventory like the helmet so that you can then go ahead and pick up the key. And then the key would be used to unlock some doors. So, uh, this is just showing how the interaction with the items works. How you can uh, pick them up, use them. And also uh, dro drop them from your 
from your hand or you can take items and place those on the pedestal where it shows its name so all the items are in the game now and all the items are pretty much functional and the next part is just adding in enemies and uh, finishing up some of the uh, prototype art but cool thanks for watching just a little short update on this project that I've been working on